Welcome to Nintendo Ninja News. I'm your host, Chris Tysis, and um, I'm in some sort of summer wear, I guess. Um, busy doing bits and pieces and stuff like that. Um, it's the NNN show, so it's a little bit of a longer format. Um, it's been a very um, busy and exciting period. You, um, with the Gamacon convention, you've seen that. And we're sort of in the eye of the storm. Um, moving obviously towards the EB Games Expo and um, I think uh, while it was stressful uh, at times doing all the filming and footage and that I think it turned out to be pretty cool um, doing that that two hour sort of you know movie length thing and then we had um, all the individual short clips of the videos and that sort of mixes of um, people in cosplay, uh, little interviews um, on the main stage, the main guests they had, Amanda and Hex from Good Game. Um, then we showed off some artwork and some of the sellers and things like that and some video game stuff. But um, I think it was good fun um, at that point. Um, doing all that sort of stuff, but um, who knows how well the videos will do, do, and I guess the question for me as I look at the videos and how well they do is, would I do another two hour video next year, and things like that. Um, I thought of one interesting idea for next year's Gamacon is um, to increase the amount of Nintendo cosplay people there, because there was some, but it was just, you know, it was Link and there was a Peach one, there was a Mewtwo, that was cool. But um, I thought maybe we could give away a gaming console. Maybe we could give out, give away the NX this time next year to the best Nintendo cosplay. I'm not too sure what GammonCon will have to say about that, or maybe we might have to run our own cosplay thing here in Australia. Um, but who knows? Um, that would be very interesting. But um, just something to um, get a bit of advertisement and, and uh, promotion of um, the local... Uh, convention here. Now moving on to EB, this is when things get a little bit trickier and a little more stressful uh, because I'll be going to Sydney um, I won't be close to home so I have to take a lot of stuff you know tripod and camera and things like that and I'm a little worried because it only goes for one day and it goes from basically 9 to 9 p.m. and my issue is that you know issues such as I'm filming all this by myself I'm not too sure if I'm, what happens if I run out of battery or I run out of this or that. Um, I don't have that old laptop that you used to see. Well, you never saw it, but many, many months ago when I um, didn't have them on the screen and, and used to see the Amiibo packages behind it, I used the laptop. And that sort of stopped working because um, it was very slow when I bought it. It wasn't a very good laptop at all. And um, it was... It, used to take a while to get the videos um, churning and working and that was the downside to it so that's something that we had to I I had to change and now with the main PC in here instead of the lounge room is a lot better so the challenge is <coughs> I don't know if I can really do a two hour sort of movie of the EB um, Games Expo because it makes it really hard trying to film it by yourself and that's something that I'm very cautious about and I'm worried um, about that sort of thing. I'll have to really be on my A game in order to get that done. Um, some of the issues that I think um, I have to look at is uh, making sure that there's enough gigs. You know, I had 64 gig of, of um, space and storage which I think was good there was definitely enough content there for um, the two hours which is fantastic so I probably won't have too much issues I do have a spare 16 gig card I might get another one like another 32 gig <coughs> um, I think I will take my external hard drive the only problem is it's not portable which makes it a really fiddly thing to deal with so I'm not too sure about that one um, and I have to make make sure of that. So I'm either thinking of getting a USB stick, 
an external hard drive that's portable or an extra battery for the video camera. I'm trying to sort of figure out um, what that would be, you know, what the um, the best plan of attack. Because I've already run out of storage, which is unlikely, but if the battery goes dead, it might be hard to find a power plug. I might not be allowed to do that at EB Games Expo. And, and it sounds like small problems, but they become very big when it happens in reality. It's those sort of things that I have to think about and no one else has to. So, and we don't know what content that Nintendo will have there. You know, do we include non-Nintendo video games? I don't know. Or we wouldn't get a copyright strike. You know, we, we did. But, um, yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see what will happen with that. Obviously, the stresses of doing buses and accommodation and that sort of thing. I see definitely a shorter film for EB in terms of... Um, in terms of um, because the content's only running for one day um, and I think we'll have a lot more people to interview and cosplays that the tripod is definitely coming out because my my arm's having a bit of RSI issues which is a bit uh, problematic I'm going to tough it out and see if it just magically heals later on but there's also to um the, the Friday that I'm coming down, I'll be coming down about 4 p.m., and I'll be staying for the whole day on Saturday. So there will be the normal film of the EB Games, and there'll be like the Peter Jackson extended film edition where I'm going to actually be filming out and about in Sydney and looking at things and EB Games and whatever gaming places there are. So that's going to be fun. I think that will definitely take it over two hours, that extended edition. But um, I will be filming lots of things and having a lot of fun and on the Twitter and on Facebook and that. So it's going to be very interesting to see um, how it all turns out. So I'm going to keep this short. Um, I'm a bit stressed out. Um, there's probably one or two videos left of Gamacom to, to upload tonight or tomorrow. But after that, we'll be returning back to the news and that sort of thing. Haven't heard much news. Just your usual NX rumors and... Um, uh, there is some Pokemon stuff coming tonight, apparently, uh, if I'm correct, correct or not. Maybe a trailer or, or a press statement or something like that. So, as you can tell, I'm a bit tired still. But I'm recovering, and by golly gosh, I will be ready in 10 days' time. This time in 10 days' time, I'm going to be even tighter than this. I'll be sleeping like a Snorlax. So, the only way to wake me up is the poker flute. Alright, I'm heading off. So, I'll see you later on. And um, keep watching the videos because there's a lot of them.